welcome back. Um, did I completely change the intro? Yes, because I'm indecisive. Also yes, but it's fine. My rising is Gemini, so I constantly change my mind on everything. And do I look completely different than the last video? Also yes, I... I'm like a chameleon. I just constantly change, and it's great. Do you like my sleeves? I like them. So today's topic, I want to talk about altars. Altars are basically a dedicated area for a spiritual goal. So what I mean by that is, it's where you want to manifest your work at. Now you don't have to have an altar, but I find it really helpful to have an area dedicated to that working, so that every time you sit down at that area, it gets you kind of into that mind space where you're ready to make a spell. Or even just meditate and, you know, clear your mind. So first off, what are they used for? As I said, they're for a specific goal but you can dedicate it to whatever you want to, whether it's deities or a specific goal. Like I have a self-love slash beauty altar. I'll probably insert some clips here and there. So the video after this, I am gonna do how I set up my own personal altar just to give you ideas. You don't have to do it like how I do. Everybody kind of does their altars differently. So besides deities and um, specific magic work, you can also use it for ancestors. Maybe you. Um, you work with a certain ancestor that likes um, a certain perfume, so you put their favorite perfume. You just have all their favorite things at that dedicated area. I am going to do that eventually, probably when I actually get my own place though, because you don't generally want an ancestor altar in your bedroom. I think you can get the idea why, but um, yeah. <laughs> so what do you actually put on your altar? So when I first started witchcraft, I read Wiccan books, and so they recommended having very specific items on your altar. So I did get those items, but it just always like fell off. Like, um, for example, I got an athame or a thame. I'm pretty sure it's athame, <laughs> but I got one and I just never used it. I still have it and it's made out of obsidian. It's still pretty cool, but I just never use it ever because I prefer working with my hands. It takes a lot of like experimenting to figure out what you like. So maybe you could like read Wiccan books and try out their tools and use them, but you don't need them. You never need anything. You don't even need the altar. Some people just use a few basic tools, um, like maybe their oracle cards, maybe a bowl just for offerings, and not a whole lot. But then other people like a lot of stuff. Me, um, personally, I like, I'm kind of both. I like to have enough space on my altar that I can actually work for the spell, but I like having stuff around the edges for aesthetics. You know, and sometimes, like, not everything on your altar is a tool. Sometimes it's just, like, to bring that joy to you. It's a space where it can get as creative as you want it to, or as simple as you want it to. Because sometimes people don't like crowded things, and they feel like that if they have too many things, they can't, they're not able to concentrate on what they're doing. But some people love those extra stuff because it's like that makes them like transport into that world they want to. And my hands are moving a lot. <laughs> if you feel like something's off with your altar, maybe try changing it up a little bit. Take an item off, put an item on, try moving it a little bit differently, balance it out. You have to experiment and see what you like for your own personal altar. No, it's not your best friend's altar, it's not your high priest or priestess altar. It's not your favorite witch's altar, it's your own altar. You get to choose what you want on it. And that's the best part about it. It's so fun when you actually get into it. And I'm gonna explain why. Let's start off with different forms of altars. Now when I first started, I thought there's only like one type where it's just a flat surface. But I've learned you can get so much more creative with this man. You can have vision boards, you can have jars, you can have bowls, you can have boxes. It can get as fun as you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a surface, like a flat surface like a desk or the top of your dresser or a shelf. It can be, but it can be so much more. Like it can be a closed box and you can paint the inside of the box the colors you want to correspond with what you're working with. Or you can do a jar and stick a picture of uh, your deity or something on there. I'll probably go more in depth um, in these different types of altars in later videos, but this is just a basic altars 101. All right, so let's get into what you can actually put on your altar. So I'm gonna start off with colors. Using certain colors, you can manifest what your spiritual goal is. For example, my beauty and self-love altar is a lot of pinks and reds. So let's say you wanted a kitchen altar. Maybe you could use colors like browns and reds and warm tones to bring out 
that more kitchen and food related spell work. On your altar, you can also put symbols and images such as deities or your own personal symbols and images for you. That's how I kind of am because I don't worship any deities or anything like that, but I do love beautiful artwork and I love just little random things. I don't worship the fae or fairies or however that works, but this little guy, you can see him. So my little sister actually gave this to me and he's pretty dang cute. Aw, look at him. <laughs> but I love putting him on my altar because it honestly looks like a little baby of nature. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. And look at those eyelashes, man. It's just like reaching to the gods. But I love putting them on my altar because it just, it makes me so happy. And that's what it's about. Putting things on your altar to make you happy. It's just so nice to have on there. It's fun to have little cute things like that. So your altar doesn't just have to be witchcraft and witchcraft only. So for example, my beauty and self-love altar, I have my makeup brushes and some of my makeup tools for when I actually do my makeup. And it's I also use it for glamour spells too. So it doesn't just have to be purely witchcraft related and it could be also pretty functional. So when I make a new altar, sometimes I go to Pinterest or I'll go online or watch other people's videos to look up ideas for my own altar. Because before that, I had a very strict altar and it wasn't very fun for me. You can find so many ideas looking up inspiration rather than closing yourself off and you know, closing off that creativity. You, it's okay to look up ideas because it's an art form. It's something really fun you can like play around with and experiment. You don't have to follow any rules that a book tells you. You don't have to do anything that I even told you in this video. It's about you. Maybe you just want to put a plant on your windowsill and call it an altar. That's completely fine. You do you. Whatever makes you feel confident as a witch when you're manifesting your spells is a way you should do it. Not how your favorite witch does it, not how every book tells you to do it, how you want to do it. As I said, in the next video, I am going to do how to set up an altar. Now, this is just how I personally do it. You don't have to do it how I do it. But I do suggest some of the things I will mention in that video. If you have any other questions or ideas of videos you want me to do, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and get creative with your altar, man. Like, go nuts with it. Okay, don't go nuts. Just have fun with it and don't spend a million dollars. You do not need a million dollars to make an altar. Honestly, you can get any of the supplies for your altar outside. You don't have to have a mortar and pestle. You don't have to have a cauldron. Trust me, I've been practicing for seven years. Seven, yeah, seven years, <laughs> almost eight years. I've had spells work out better from just a leaf, throwing it into a river, than a big, huge candle spell and crazy mojo, wojo, Flojo. Yep. Have fun creating your new altars, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!